Welcome to the very first video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Anyway, let's play. We're going to hop into a new character. We're going to create a new character over here. Um, there's only two more that I would like to play, I believe, which is a priest. So, human priest, maybe. Yeah, let's create a human priest character. No, I don't want the old lady. Place is fine, but... Ooh. Black hair, baby. There we go. That's fine. That's hot. Let's be honest. Uh... I don't know. That's a good name, I guess. So we'll make a priest as well. Hopefully we can take that name. Yep. Let's uh, disable all add-ons add so we can actually watch the intro together. Guys, if you do enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. We'll only continue on with the character that gets the best amount of likes and watch time. So make sure you do that. Anyway, let's do this. Stormwind are a proud, tenacious race. Though the recent invasion of the demonic Burning Legion decimated their sister kingdom of Lordaeron, the defenders of Stormwind stand vigilant against any who would threaten the sanctity of their lands. Nestled in the foothills of Elwyn Forest, Stormwind City is one of the last bastions of human power in the world. Ruled by the child king Anduin Rin, the people of Stormwind remain steadfast in their commitment to the Grand Alliance. Backed by their stalwart allies, the armies of Stormwind have been called away to fight the savage horde on distant battlefields. With the armies gone, the defense of Stormwind now falls to its proud citizens. You must defend the kingdom against the foul mongrels that encroach upon it, and hunt down the subversive traitors who seek to destroy it from within. Now is the time for heroes. Now humanity's greatest chapter can be told. Are you sure about that? All right. Let us uh, do it. I hope you strapped your belt on tight, young adventurer. Because there is work to do here in Northshire, and I don't mean farming. The storm wind guards are hard pressed to keep the peace here, with so many of us in distant lands and so many threats pressing close. And so we're enlisting the aid of anyone willing to defend their home and their alliance. If you're here to answer the call, then speak with my superior, Marshal McBride. He's inside the abbey behind me. Ah, good. Another volunteer? We're getting a lot of you these days. I hope it's enough. The human lands are threatened from without, and so many of our forces have been marshaled abroad. This, in turn, leaves room for corrupt and lawless groups to thrive within our borders. It is a many-fronted battle we wage, adventurer. Gird yourself for a long campaign. Your first task is one of cleansing, adventurer. A clan of kobolds have infested the woods to the north. Go there and fight the kobold vermin you find. Reduce their numbers so that we may one day drive them from Northshire. Egan Pelt Skinner is looking for someone to hunt wolves for him. That's good news because we're seeing a lot more wolves in Northshire Valley lately. If you're interested, then speak with Egan. He's around the side of the abbey to the left. That's true. I'm looking for someone to hunt me some wolves. Are you that person? I hate those nasty timber wolves, but I sure like eating wolf steaks. Bring me tough wolf meat and I will exchange it for something you'll find useful. Tough wolf meat is gathered from hunting the timber wolves and young wolves wandering the Northshire countryside. Let's call this DPS, and then we're gonna say cost, uh, smite.
Why human? You might be wondering. Well, first of all, it's because I can't be a gnome. Okay, so if gnome is out of the inventory or out of the option, uh, because gnome gets 5% increased intellect, right? So if gnome is not an option, then what is the second best thing that priests use? Well, as a healer, if you play priest, your best stat is actually not intel, it's spirit. So if I'm going to play healer, then we might as well have increased spirit by playing a human. So that's why we chose human. Now the second reason is, if this becomes your main character, um, priest is very slow in killing ads. Even though low levels, it looks pretty strong. Um, their best trait then is... Faster reputations. I don't know if reputation is important in this game, uh, in classic. But I know in other games, or... I wouldn't say in other games. I know in retail it's very useful. Extremely useful. We'll f also have to install an add-on called Click. And that's so when I hover over myself or anyone in the party, I will heal them. You've been busy. I can't wait to cook up that wolf meat. I have some things here you might want. Take your pick. Well met. Are you sure Go. it's well met? Hello. Recently, a new group of thieves has been hanging around Northshire. They call themselves the Defias Brotherhood and have been seen across the river to the east. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's not good. Bring me the bandanas they wear and I'll reward you with a weapon. No need to ever be full mana. Okay, let's see. Power word fortitude. That's the best thing a priest can do. Is buff everyone. Okay, do we have lesser heal too as well? And Shadow Word Pain at level 4. Again, we want a wand as, as fast as we can. Bunny, what are you doing? So with a priest, we will get... We won't take first aid. We will get... Tailoring. I think tailoring will be the, will be the best. Haha, uh -huh, another? Nice level. Uh, yeah. And who else? Who else did I still want to play? Um... Uh, Druid, Druid left.
We don't want to pull an extra ad. If we can avoid it. Definitely have to get, go buy a few drinks. I don't know if we're going to play balanced or feral. I prefer feral and DPS, and I prefer healing over balanced. Run a little bit to the safer zone. Got a new bracer, nice. Drink again. Yeah, there's people that want to play with me, but the problem is, though, that I don't know who to play yet. So I need to see if there's, like, a part one that does well. Uh, so if you want to see more Priest, then you have to obviously leave a, a like on the video. It will really mean a lot. And also watch the whole video, man. If you don't watch the whole video, then... Leaving a like doesn't really help at all. Okay, one more bandana. And then we can sell the food. buy a lot more drinks. Okay, that one didn't give us a banana. How do you not there? Eh? Goodness. Another failure. Waddle Hag. Bro. Just give it to me. So 
So we finally got it. Yeah, we can definitely sell the food. We don't need we don't need food. We can heal ourselves if needed. What can back with some bandanas, I see. The Stormwind Army appreciates your help. You've shown yourself a dependable adventurer, adventurer. Dependable, and not afraid to get your hands dirty, eh? I have a friend, Millie Osworth, who's in some trouble. She's over with her wagon on the other side of the abbey near the stable. I'm sure she could use a pair of hands like yours. Garrick Padfoot, a cutthroat who's plagued our farmers and merchants for weeks, was seen at a shack near the vineyards, which lies east of the abbey and across the bridge. Bring me the villain's head and earn his bounty. But be wary, adventurer. Garrick has gathered a gang of thugs around him. He will not be an easy man to reach. I think we go to the priest right now, which is right here. Greetings. I trust the light is with you, adventurer. Is there something that I can I help you with? Gonna help me get these nuts on your chin. <laughs> That's why you're a small channel, dude. All these bad jokes, huh? My bad. I'm just trying my best over here, okay? You can chill. You need some milk? No. Guy we're looking for is not there. Oh, he's outside. At the back. Deputy Willem told you to speak with me? He's a brave man, and always willing to help. But his duties keep him stuck at Northshire Abbey, and I'm afraid the problem I have today is beyond him. Perhaps you can help me? A gang of brigands, the Defias, moved into the Northshire vineyards while I was harvesting. I reported it to the Northshire guards, and they assured me they'd take care of things. But I'm afraid for my crop of grapes. If the Defias don't steal them, then I fear our guards will trample them when they chase away the thugs. Please, you must help me. I gathered most of my grapes into buckets, but I left them in the vineyards to the southeast. Bring me those crates. Save my harvest. Yes, ma'am. Three levels, baby. Okay, now we're level four. Resist. Take a while to kill him, I think. Despite the dust. I think I hear someone eating, dude.
Oh no. I got that and pull the other one. It's two out of eight. Goodness. Uh, we got one here. Oh, this guy's just running through the middle. It's level 22, though. He won't pull aggro. I wonder what the level 22 is doing here. Got a new robe, got a new belt. Not the bad. There's the roamer. Shall we just drink? Sure. We should be able to get this one also. Oh, there's one there. Use Hearthstone? Dude, it takes two seconds. What if we change our guide here? Let's see. Available guide. We'll stick with this one for now. How are Ha! You caught him! You've done Elwyn a great service and earned a nice bounty. I supply only the finest goods. Only the finest, you say. For the alliance. No no, for the horde. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I was hoping it's at the back here. 
You need some- Oh, thank you, adventurer. You saved my harvest. And I hope you showed a few of those defias that they can't cause trouble around here. We might be short on guards these days, but we're lucky to have heroes like you to protect us. Now that my crop is saved, take this great manifest to Brother Niels. He manages the store of food and drink in Northshire, and I'm sure he'll be delighted to hear that he has fresh grapes. You'll find Brother Niels in the Abbey, in the Bell Tower, where he likes to taste his wine. This thing's level one, most of them, so very easy to kill. I'm honestly hoping to just get a bag, but not so lucky. It's okay, we're gonna be a tailor anyway, so... I wouldn't have to fight these yet. Yeah, let me install that uh, add-on quick. Actually, I do have the add-on. I just don't see it. Normally, normally it shows the icon here. Normally, there's a click icon here. Oh, there we go. Don't know why it doesn't display on this thing. Okay, so delete, delete. So this will be A. Hello. Quick bind mode, baby. Let's go. Hello. It's a me. Okay. And then, boom. Don't know why it's changed like this, it's weird. Kind of weird that it sent me also to the harder enemies. And now we're doing the easier ones. Right, the Madonna, banana ones, like, we're fighting level 6 enemies, dude. I think. So now we're gonna go train. What are we gonna do now? We're getting our Shadow Word Pain. King's honor, friend. But I feel like Shadow Word Pain is useless. Light bless you. 
until you get a wand. Because then you would shadowward pain wand. Hey citizen, you look like a stout one. We guards are spread a little thin out here, and I could use your help. Well done, citizen. Those kobolds are thieves and cowards, but in large numbers they pose a threat to us. And the humans of Stormwind do not need another threat. For defeating them, you have my gratitude. Adventurer, my scouts tell me that the kobold infestation is larger than we had thought. A group of kobold workers has camped near the Echo Ridge Mine to the north. Go to the mine and remove them. We know there are at least ten. Kill them, see if there are more, then report back to me. I was asked to bring this to your attention as soon as you return from the kobold camps, adventurer. It appears to be a letter sealed with the insignia of Priestess Aneta, our local priest trainer. I wouldn't hesitate to read it before you go about any other business here in the Abbey. Let's see here. Oh my, Millie's grapes have been saved. When she told me that brigands overran her vineyards, I nearly despaired. But my faith in the light did not waver. And through your bravery, we now have grapes for more wine. May the light bless you, adventurer, and keep you safe. Hello again, young priestess. The time has come for you to learn more about our religion. After you've completed whatever tasks you have here in Northshire, please seek out Priestess Josetta in Goldshire. She has more to teach you, and has heard that you are growing strong in the ways of the light. She looks forward to tutoring you more. As you grow in experience, return to me, and I will do what I can to impart my knowledge upon you. Until then, go with compassion in your heart, and let wisdom be your guide. Remember, the world only becomes a better place if you make it so. Bye, -bye thanks. Why? Duel to the death. I kill you. Cool. Still doesn't answer the question, why do you want to duel? There's no need for it. <clears throat> okay, we're full of manners. Still no bag, bro. God damn it. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Like, we're going to be a tailor. We'll make our own bags, but... Goodness. Feels so bad when you get a game... When you get a start without bags. It's kind of painful. Light be with you. The alliance. 
What can I do? I don't like hearing of all these kobolds in our mind. No good can come of this. Here, take this as payment, and when you're ready, speak to me again. I would like you to go back to the mines one more time. Your previous investigations are proof that the Echo Ridge mine needs purging. Return to the mine and help clear it of kobolds. Waste no time, adventurer. The longer the kobolds are left unmolested in the mine, the deeper a foothold they gain in Northshire. Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in, and there is no finer place to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, Innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride. If you tell him I sent you, he may give you the special discounted rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the road from here. You can't miss it. Okay, we're done with the first area already. That's pretty fast, actually. Bro, wait until we get a wand. Oof. It's gonna be juicy. So that was pretty weird, like, showing the exclamation points, the direction. And then, you know, my potato brain, I still get lost. Hello, my lady. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines. The Fargo Deep Mine to the south and Jasper Lode Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. Rest and relaxation for the tired and cold. That's our motto. Please, take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. Would you like to try a sampling of some of our fine food and drink? I trust the light is with you, adventurer. Is there something that I can I help you with? I'm glad you've arrived, adventurer. We have much to discuss about your future and your path within the light. Normally, I put forth a small challenge to followers of the light to test their skill. I want to see if they are worthy of wearing their first robes. A sign that the church outwardly approves of the priestess and supports her. But this situation is a bit different. One of Goldshire's citizens saw an injured guard near the lake to the east of here. His name is Roberts. Find him, heal him, fortify his body, and return here. If you can do that for me, then I will consider your test complete. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to them. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south and around the Jasper Lode Mine to the northeast. Okay, except the young lovers. Uh, the guy just said we have to kill all the boars we find. Even if you go out of your way. I assume it's for the meat for cooking later. You know, this add-on says they only have Growl, but they clearly have, like, a dash also. It's not charge, but... They have crazy movement speed.
Uh, full mana, we might as well kill. quest here. You need some thanks, adventurer, and come back if you want to trade again. So I give him water and he gives me an apple. Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. So I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. Okay, let's see here. Cobalt mine. For the time now, kill two or three each time you go across. Okay. And another one. No, I don't want to see resist. I want to see crit, dude. Thank you. How dare you? Resist me? You shouldn't. I lost my necklace and think that gutter snipe Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me and you'll warm an old widow's heart. Might be an intel scroll. How are uh, I can't stand this being apart. I have to see her. Please, adventurer, talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Maybell, she can. She's inside our house east of here. Slap that bunny, dude. While our families are feuding, Tommy Joe and Maybell don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm, what can we do? I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. I feel like we should not do anything other than get a wand. We should not spend any money, if possible. Because our biggest spire spike will be that wand at first. It's 11 DPS, dude. 
And you can see me casting right now, like perma casting, is 11 DPS. And it takes zero mana. So, like, there's zero comparison between the two. I just think we need about six, maybe seven silver from the auction house to buy it. So, I don't think we should train. We shouldn't use any money for anything. Once we have, like, seven silver, we go and buy the wand. And then our DPS will increase quite a bit because we'll use an overtime damage and then just wand. Overtime damage and wand. Overtime damage and wand. That's pretty much how you play a priest. I just think that wand is so valuable. On any caster, but like not really on a mage, right? Because mage make their own drinks. That's really the reason why I don't really want to play a mage, because you fight 50% of your life, and the other 50% you sit, literally, and drink. They are extremely mana hungry. Yes, they can make their own food, but it's annoying. Good day. Though this wild boar meat is tough. Simmer it enough and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go. And when you give this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. The Brackwells have a prize-winning pig, Princess. The sow is huge and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. So before she comes to our fields, Princess must die. Bring me her collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch, to the east and beyond the McClure Farm. Get her before she gets hungry and comes back here. This guy got so many buffs, bro. So you don't really get like a stats increase or anything by just clicking self found. You just get a debuff that says self found. That's it. Okay, looks like now we're gonna head into the mine. We have to get the necklace as well, which is extremely deep into the mine. Available now is smite level 2. But you have to choose your poison, bro. Is it smite 2 or is it wand? Oh, snap. I'm busy checking my WhatsApp here. I should also eat. Let's drink and eat at the same time.
You got this, yeah? Oh shit. Let's just get out of here a bit. Out of the danger, I would say. We're gonna heal ourselves though. Thing is, we need to run with that group because we need to explore in in so oh, they respond. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! It's gonna interrupt my my drink. to run in we need to explore this place let's go this way Fuck. Wait a minute. I healed, so I got aggro. Agro also. dude that was a bit much I would say Dude, we're getting spawned on again.
God's sakes, I've got spawned on again. Let's go for it. Now I think we're hot out of here. Die and res. <laughs> sure, buddy. Nice guide you got there. Hello. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, adventurer, and here's your reward. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. I've packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestle's Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. My heart goes out to those two poor souls, Maybell and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybell so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes murlocs collect it. See if the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Crystal Lake is just east of Goldshire. This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, adventurer. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Thanks for the dust, adventurer. Here's your cash and here is a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. So then it's show, Shadow Word Pain, but it's not rank 1, it's just Shadow Word Pain, comma, uh, exclamation point shoot, comma, null. Save. Double check that it's shoot. It is. Okay, so now once we have the wand, it's going to be Shadow Word Pain, and then we'll just auto shoot the whole time. One button does both stuff. And then an ability we want to get is uh, Shadow Word Pain, uh, Shadow Word Shield. Because it's just one of the best abilities in the game, dude. It's one of the best shields. And also, I don't think Shadow Word Pain or Shadow Word Shield, sorry. Does any aggro? I don't think you pull aggro from Shadow Witch Shield. I think. Here is your payment. And while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. That's just the most money. Safe travel. Dum 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 dum. 
Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend, won't find any better. Now what can I help you with? I don't sell that. Be careful. Have you come seeking training in the ways of armed combat? Daggers and staves, um... Staff is most probably gonna be the best. Uh, shopping, wand. Uh, DPS, 11 point, yeah. So it's this one. Bro, we got an 8 silver one. And the next one is, is 10 silver. So we're saving quite a bit of money. A nice blink, dude. The two inch blink, as much as your pee pee. Here we go. And now we will do more DPS and we'll use less mana. Wait, while we're here, we might as well get the flight point, right? Get the flight point. Um, we can also learn tailoring. Which profession trainer are you looking for? Where's tailoring? Duncan's Textiles employs one of the finest tailors in Stormwind, Giorgio Bolero. Look for the shop over in the Mage Quarter. And if we get tailoring, we might as well get enchanting also, right? Or we can get a gold making... Yeah, I don't think we can have enchantment also. Might want to get a gold making... Um, profession. So that at level 40 we can get our mount. Something like mining is fine. Life is like a carefully woven tapestry. See you later. Step on up. Since the fall of Dalaran and the destruction of Quel'Thalas, wares of this sort have been hard to come by. But Luke and Cordell and some of our other tradesmen have been doing a fine job of filling our orders with quality merchandise. What do you need directions to? Which profession trainer are you looking for? Luke and Cordell has a small shop on the canal by the stockade. I am sure he will be able to teach you the art of enchanting. Let's just get enchanting. You need to. If you have what it takes, I will be happy to show you the way. Hail, traveler. What brings you to my doorstep? This is the best song in the game. We haven't trained cooking yet. Thanks. Increase in by seven. Well, now we have over 400 mana and we'll barely use mana. I think. We can go train our shield, and then we'll just head out. Need help? Yes, I need help leveling. Do you mind?
Don't do that. Let's see if the macro works. It works somewhat. But not 100%. Okay, let's go train. It's actually inside this building right here. We'll go train our... our shield. Looking for something specific? We should have sold this as well in the auction house. Well met. Farewell. Oops. Be careful. Safe travels. Okay, so open up, click, and then we will quick bind this. Nope, wrong button. Powered shield. The shield shields for it just says absorb damage. Forty four damage over uh, over thirty three seconds, which is actually insane, by the way. Do I not have another quest here? Like, I don't know what the mage quest is. Uh, sorry, the... The priest quest is. Yeah, dude, we're just way too strong now. Now we just have to get overtime heals. By the way, this is pretty much <laughs> the gameplay of a priest until max level. Depending on what you level as. If you play Shadow Priest, then you'll have an extra two abilities. I don't think you kill things like twice as fast, but again, you'll be cost it will cost you mana. So yeah, again, you have to choose your poison. You can see our DPS is now was 15. Thank you. 
What the heck is that one doing? Almost double pulled. Dude, the one is critting 26, dude. How hard was it with our warrior to come through here? It was very, very difficult. With the priest, we don't even need food buff, dude. When do we get our overtime heal? Renew at level 8. So yeah, I will just be casting Renew here and then... Attacking the next enemy. But for now we have to just heal. Okay, we still don't have... We still don't have a bag. Now over time this is going to become weaker, but the only thing I have to do then is buy a new wand. Which the auction house should have quite a bit of it. But you can also craft it yourself since uh, we're going to be doing enchanting. Armor reduced by 50. We might actually pull both there, so let's not do that. Now we'll just run around them. Uh, 
the caster. If I'm not mistaken, you, um... You do get one damage increase as a priest. I also want to test something out if we remove the exclamation point. Oh my god, is that three? You'll have to wait for that one to come a bit closer. There's one roaming. is kind of like not working efficiently. Exclamation point works a lot better. Iron res. Well, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> now it wants us to run all the way back. Because it would have been faster to die in res.
Yeah, we're just farming insane, dude. no bag. It's also more efficient for us to actually kill the murlocs because it seems that we've got quite a bit of linen and I assume it's them. I'm not entirely sure. Could have been the cobalts, actually, now that I think of it. Yeah, our DPS is really high. We use zero mana. It's just looking good, bro. So I never knew that there's a fisherman here. Something I was probably will never do on any of our characters is fishing. It, it, it's a lot of money, but it, it's the most boring profession ever, I feel like. Got them. Good show. Now just one moment while I concoct the potion. Take this invisibility liquor to young Maybell. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Buy missing bags, so you have four ba uh, bags. What can I help you with? Dude, do I really want to spend my silver like this, though? for business. Have a good one. Good day to you. See you later. I don't even know where the guy is. Let's sell the bags. Adventurer, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Dugan. But he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the murlocs are a danger. Please, adventurer, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. Kobolds at the Jasper Lode mine, you say? Curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, adventurer. But I wish that the news you brought was good news. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted. But unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. 
If you are concerned that the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing knoll and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook Garrison and see what he needs done. The garrison is down the road to the west. After you cross the bridge over the small brook, it will be to the right. Okay, so Renew heals 9 every 3 seconds. Which is actually pretty good, if you ask me. Level 9. See, this is pretty much the rotation, dude. Now we have Renew active, we have a shield on us. Gives us enough time to heal. A decent chunk. I just wish this one thing works better. It doesn't always work. Dude, we're level 8 already, there's so half an hour left. This could be our highest level uh, hero. We're doing a pretty hard quest right now, I think. Yeah.
Thank you for help. See ya. Same. <laughs> Okay, we gotta grab this quest here. Princess is kind of a hard one because it's a three. Even though it looks like it's only gonna be one that you kill, it's actually a three unit fight. Greetings. Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here, but they are aggressive and at least semi intelligent. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river, and they have not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards, or their remains. Hail, adventurer. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshear, and the Eastvale logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out here. Have to kill quite a few bears or so. Easy double fight, dude. Looked kind of scary in the beginning. Only have four slots available. Then our inventory is full. Is this the remains? Goodness, bro. It's kind of scary and dark, isn't it? That was a human. That was human remains right there. Are you serious?
Okay, we have to get the wood here. I hated this quest. I most probably will hate it still. To do it with my uh, priest. I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood that they've already chopped. I've already talked to Deputy Rayner about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. We got one here. This one here. This quest sucks, dude. It's pretty much just moving your cursor around until it changes color. Or change the shape. We had one here. This Murloc is level 9. bad but we got spawned on again twice double spawned on By the time we get there, these two that we killed will spawn. Yeah, there they spawn. We got our first green item. Both of them spawned again. I pull, double pulled again. The other one decided to stay.
Yeah, I can't I can't do it. They keep spawning before I can actually get there. And I feel like we kill them fast, but clearly not fast enough, dude. I can't, I can't solo this. I need other people to come. Feels like the respawn rate is a little bit too high. Because you need to get like five of them. Funny thing is, I'm not even like drinking or anything that them spawn, right? Like, I think we're killing them pretty fast. Let's meet. Where's this warrior now? Can I invite him?
I'm completely wrong. Did you get it? Looks like it. It's more like waste. There's one there. And another one, so we need three more. Is one here somewhere? I can't get my mouse on it again. Dude, I remember when I played the game back in the day, there was an outline feature. Hello. Hello, baby. Safe travels. Uh, let me let me just Google it the setting because it's annoying. I mean, ChatGPT is saying that it is. There is an outline mode in graphics. I honestly just don't see it. Let's say options, graphics, and inside here should be an out, uh, outline uh, mode.
I'll let him have it. Maybe I should just use Google instead of ChatGPT. Because I'm pretty sure there was an outline mode, but it's now they changed the name to something else. Young forest bears. more across the river. But quite frankly, I'm not seeing it, though. Uh, let's disenchant our first item. There we go. Kill two more bears, and this quest is also done. Need two bears, bro. Do you think we're finding it? <laughs> Light.
right? Excellent. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I would like to offer some coin as compensation for your troubles. Thank you and farewell. Want to buy bears? Where else? Across the river down. Let's try there. Dude, this is a this is our fastest leveling hero. The first one to reach level nine. two hours. And damage is really good and it takes zero mana. The thing is, I, I struggled so much to get my macro to work um, with the warlock. And I think uh, the Warlock would have been faster. With the macro, obviously. You resistant? These are all just wolves, dude. There's a bear. One more bear. There's the bear. Really resisted twice? You know what they say, third time lucky. Uh, very good, very good.
So yeah, it's, it's tempting to enchant yourself, but it's pretty bad. Don't do it. Um, you get points or you get skill from disenchanting. And you should only... You should only level up your enchanting with using your materials if you can't disenchant anymore. If that makes sense. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of money. Just keep disenchanting. Get that mats. Well met. You have confirmed my fears, adventurer. The Murlocs are a threat we cannot ignore. Tell Marshal Dugan of Malachi and Rolf's deaths and report to him that the Murlocs in Eastern Elwyn cannot be contained by our current troop presence. I know we don't have many troops to spare, but hopefully Dugan can find someone. Thanks a lot for the help, adventurer. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. Looks to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, adventurer. If you haven't already, you should report to Gryan Stoutmantle. He heads up the people's militia aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the stone tower on Sentinel Hill just off the road in the middle of Westfall. Hmm, this news is troubling. Already our defenses are stretched thin, and losing Rolf and Malachi to those Murlocs put us in an even worse position. If things don't improve, there will be fighting in Goldshire by the week's end. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the Eastvale logging camp. Give her the marker, and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, adventurer, use it in the defense of Elwyn. The Eastvale logging camp is beyond Guard Thomas's post to the east. See you around. I think we got cooking here. I can teach you how to cook. Have a good one. <sighs> cooking. Twenty-seven, dude. But guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. I'm going to just do my cooking and then I'm going to just stand here and log out. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And just keep in mind, if you guys want to see me play this priest all the way to level 60, hopefully, um, will be... Well, you guys will have to leave a like, uh, watch the whole video, uh, because the best performing character is the one we'll continue on with. So... Appreciate you guys being here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.